Hey, it's Squidly. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the gear top one person tent from my backyard. First of all, let me go over all the parts. This is the tent body. Uh, the tent body comes in two different styles. One is the four season and this is the three season. The three season is all mesh. I have both. I will be reviewing today the three season. It comes with the stakes and a bag for the stakes and some extra guy lines the stuff sack, and the rain fly. It does not come with the rake that I use to move all the sweet gum balls that are on the ground, but it is a trekking pole tent, and so trekking poles will be required for setup. I have staked out the four corners. Uh, all it requires is just a little bit of tension. Uh, super easy to do to get it uh, stretched tight. Adding the stakes, of course, requires a little bit more effort. Before I put the fly on, I do want to show you this. There is a separate sleeve for each one of the trekking poles to go in, and the sleeves extend the trekking poles up above the mesh, which will keep the rain fly off of the mesh. So it's a, a pretty sleek design there. It has two doors, there's one on each side, and at this point, there's not much else to add. To attach the rain fly, it's just a matter of clipping the elastic cord down to the uh, already existing stakes. The fly requires four stakes, one at each of the doors and one at the head and foot end in order to uh, guide out to provide some kind of ventilation. And the farther out you, uh, you stake it, the more ventilation that you're going to have. And I have mine here staked out pretty far. You could also bring four additional stakes and stake the four corners. You can see with the corners staked out on the stakes I use for the tent body, the fly is not pulled very tight. If it's not raining or if there's no chance of rain, you can also open up a door to increase ventilation and you can see that the increased ventilation by opening up a door is pretty dramatic. This tent is a tight fit. Uh, I am five foot ten and my toes touch on the end and my head touches on the head end. Now, and I'm not even lying on a sleeping pad yet, but I'm going to put a sleeping pad in here and just show you kind of how that looks. Um, if you if you have trouble <laughs> sleeping with something on you, this is probably not going to be the tent for you. Uh, but I'm a side sleeper and I don't think it really bothers me that much. All right, with my sleeping pad, which is a Neo Air X Lite and my pillow, uh, I am up and, and just touching with my head and my my toes are touching and so um if you're if you're anything taller than 510 i would say there is no way that this tent would be uh, a good fit for you um i would even say that at 510 you better think carefully and 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 think whether you're okay with this uh because uh, and with your toes touching because uh, they are going to touch also full disclosure uh, once i realized uh, how tight it was i thought i don't remember being quite that tight uh, i did extend the trekking poles a little bit more uh, i had not extended them as, as far as you're supposed to because of how tight this tent is uh, i would say that you're not going to be able to bring much gear in the tent with you at night uh, your headlamp a water bottle in my case i bring a pee bottle and that's about it uh, maybe my ditty bag but there's just not much room for anything else. And so uh, it is a tight fit on the inside, but I will say that the size of the vestibules and, and their vestibules on, on each side that are uh, roughly the, the same size and um, they are uh, they are pretty, pretty big and uh, give you plenty of room to bring most of your stuff in. Um, now let's talk about the, the waterproofness. 
Uh, I don't have video or uh, pictures of it, but I did experience on the Pinhoti Trail uh, with this tent an all night rain, and I did not get a single drop of water. In addition, I also didn't have much in the way of condensation, uh, which sort of surprised me. Maybe it's the way the, uh, the doors um, stake out, they're, they're so high, but I just didn't have any uh, condensation. So this, this turned out to be uh, uh, perfectly waterproof. And so I was really pleased with how that worked out. Setup was fast. Even stopping to take uh, video, it only took me about seven or eight minutes to set up. All right, that's it for the gear top one person tent. Now, what is my real opinion on this? Really, this is something that I do use from time to time. Uh, it is weather worthy. Uh, it is a, a great budget option. Uh, I just looked it up on Amazon. It's $101.99 US and it weighs one pound and 14 ounces. So as far as a one person tent goes, it's a good option. However, it's a really tight fit. You don't have room to bring much in the way of gear in with you. And it is uh, not made for people who are over 5'10". Like I said, I'm 5'10", and I don't really fit in it, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I would say that if you are under 5'10", this might be something worth considering. Hey, do me a favor. While you're here, hit the like button and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Also, in the comments, tell me what you're using for a one-man tent.